it to you, and we've been talking about this story for two days now, and I still can't wrap my mind around it, so I'm interested to see this. Valley-based company has created that, cutting-edge design, no springs, just foam, and it's been a top seller on Amazon now, this mattress, and you can test one out and buy it right here in Phoenix. Tuft & Needle has opened its very first storefront, and Christy Siefkin went and checked it out. I'm hearing great things about this as well. I'm not in the market for a mattress, but... This will be interesting. I want to see how this yeah. works. It is so different than what you've seen in the mattress market. And uh, these gentlemen came up with a really clever idea. In fact, the co-founders took apart one of those $3,000 plus mattresses and tore the inside out to figure out what would make a good product. They engineered a very special foam that was light made, lightweight and made the mattress a lot cheaper than uh, traditional models. And even their California King, the biggest mattress, fits neatly inside of a portable box. This sleek downtown workspace is actually a mattress store, home to a Valley startup that's turning the mattress industry on its head. There's all these problems with the shopping experience, but also the price is very broken as well. You know, there's price gouging going on uh, to customers, and we wanted to, you know, fix that problem uh, first and foremost. Dehe Park and JT Marino are the co-founders of Tuft & Needle. Frustrated by showroom sales and inflated costs, the Penn State alums took on this challenge. Is it possible to design a mattress uh, without having to make six different versions for different types of people? Can we make just one? What emerged was a lightweight, portable mattress at a fraction of the competitor's costs. This patented foam, the magic ingredient inside each product. Every bed sold straight to the consumer, rolled up tightly like a burrito, and stuffed in a box ready to move. We, we compress it down. Um, as we like suck the air out of it. So as soon as we break the plastic, it'll begin to expand. Tuft & Needle is now the number one seller on Amazon. The company now sells beds out of this Phoenix showroom and is set to open a store in San Francisco this fall. Because we really believe this is like the future for mattress development and in, in the industry. And, um, you know, we, we started it. So it's, you know, kind of gives me goosebumps thinking about, you know, thinking about that. Hmm. One of the other unique factors of that company, you can take the mattress home, try it out for 100 days, and if you don't like it, still bring it back. And that is unique since often you lay down for five minutes in a store and you're yeah. like, eh, Three I months. think this is yeah. good enough. Yeah, and get the price. This is what's unbelievable. Three fifty for a twin. Whoa. Their starting price, the biggest California King, seven fifty. Wow. Out the door. And you don't use box springs with it. Correct. No you? box springs. You can put it straight on the floor, which they say a lot of young people If you wanted to put on a box spring for the, for the mm -hmm. height, you could? You can. Okay, I... I don't know if you tried this or not. Did you try jumping on it? Uh, it wasn't very bouncy. <laughs> Hence you know how kids are. <laughs> my kids still jump on my bed. That would have been Carrie's uh, test in it, was jumping on it. You know, I laid on it, and my uh, photographer, Robert Hernandez, he also tried it out. We both thought it was, you know, it, we, you sunk in, but then it was firm, and, you know, took but a little cat nap, but and But you didn't back. jump on it. No jumping on okay. it. That's the follow-up story. <laughs> we how does it do as a trampoline? Tomorrow we're going to find out <laughs> if kids can jump on this thing. Yes, I'll bring does you with me so you can try. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Christy. Christy. You're welcome. Well, we had some rain around the state earlier, but a lot of it has dried up. We'll take a look at our radar map coming up. So you're saying we do have the video of Christy jumping on... We the, need that. We, right, we, we need, need it. it. Late. All right, the Arizona Diamondbacks looking to end a six-game losing streak. Try it again tonight against the Marlins Plus. 72 holes, not enough to decide a champion at St. Andrews. you got to see the finish. We are going to a four-hole playoff today at the British Open.